I owned this bike 45 years ago, okay? I sold it in 1976, 44 years ago. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Muscle Mini Bike Builds. Well, we got some upcoming projects here. A couple, uh, couple of things I'm really excited about. You can see some of the stuff sitting behind me. Uh, I got an old original Stella trail uh, with the original motor in it. This one right back here, you guys have all seen. That's got the uh, ZS190 Piranha motor in it, five speed. Been riding it a lot. Got a lot of things sorted out on it. Had to do some stuff with the chain and uh, a chain roller. Finally got it figured out that about a 35 mile ride on Saturday night here in Phoenix, bike performed perfect, no issues. I think we got the thing pretty well dialed in. When I know it's 100%, I'm gonna take it all apart, send it out, powder coat it, and uh, finish it up. Uh, the next bike, let me turn around here. We have this little uh, Arco, Alexander Reynolds, originally out of New Jersey. Mostly original, original motor in it, uh, I think. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. Uh, but I'm gonna take that apart, do uh, a nice stock restoration on it, leave the three horse on it. Really no reason to uh, mess around with it. Next to that one, we have uh, an original Roma Nova. Now, I bought three bikes about a year ago. I found in a barn out here in Arizona, out in Buckeye. And uh, it was a cat slingshot, it was a cat, 400X, and it was uh, this Romanova, and I got all three of them. I sold the slingshot, went to a gentleman in uh, Denver, so that thing's being restored. The 400X, I cut a deal with uh, Rafa at GTS Hobbies in California, and that's how I got the frame for the shifter bike, and uh, that one I kept. I wanted to get it restored to take it to Joe's mini bike reunion this year, just didn't happen, so uh, now I got some time on my hands, I'm going to start knocking this stuff out. So this one, I wanted to drag this out on its own and kind of talk to you real quick about the Romanova. The coolest thing about this is that it's all original. The wildest thing about this, and how it survived, I have no idea, is the original fiberglass. Not metal, not plastic, fiberglass, chain guard and mounts. Has never been destroyed. I can't understand it. It survived, one of those things. This thing ran a, uh, a 420 chain also. So as the old clutch still on it. Motor turns over, so I could probably get it running. But uh, I thought that was pretty neat to see the original fiberglass um, chain guard on it. So I wanted to pick this one out. Let me turn this thing around and so you can see this side of it. Small bike, small frame, about the size of a Manco Streaker, uh, maybe a little bit taller. But it's just kind of a neat, uh, kind, kind of a neat bike. Uh, Romanova was built in uh, Gardena, California, from what I uh, found doing a little bit of research. And that's it. Just wanted to uh, give you a couple quick highlights on this one. Oh, yeah, it's got front suspension. This little two-inch coil spring at the end of the bolt. Interesting. Enjoy. Let's see. Behind it is a uh, uh, Golden Pinto. No motor in it, but it's complete. That's going to get restored. I got a 1965 Schwinn Continental back there. I'm going to highlight some pictures of this stuff uh, uh, during the video, so you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, 65 Schwinn Continental right there, original motor on it. Thing runs and drives perfect. I may or may not restore it. I don't know. It's a pretty nice bike as it is. I'll probably just leave it alone. Um, cool bike. Bought that in a package of four. Sold off the other three. Kept that one. That was the only one I really wanted out of the out of the four bikes, but I had to buy all four of them to make the deal happen, so that's how it goes. Then, you got the Stella right here. I owned this bike 45 years ago, okay? I sold it in 1976, 44 years ago, okay? I was on the hunt for a Stella a couple months ago, and uh, I posted on a bunch of the forums, I know a lot of you guys have seen it, I was looking for a Stella, you know, rigid, not a suspension bike, two-piece frame. This is what I wanted right here. Got a couple of replies. Thanks very much for all the guys that uh, sent me links and stuff. Um, and then all of a sudden, Felix Ortiz out of Jersey sends me a picture of one that he had, but then tells me his brother has another one. 
So I was like, yeah, give me pictures. You know, a couple days go by, a week, whatever. He uh, sends me some pictures on Facebook. And I start looking at it, and I'm going, where'd you get that thing? And he says, ah, we got it out of Long Island a couple years ago. I was like, huh. I said, Send, you know, I got a couple more pictures. When I noticed the bent foot peg and the license plate bracket tweaked, I said, I think that's my old bike. And he saw to laugh, and I saw to laugh, and I said, what are the chances? I said, well, I said, not bad since you got it out of Long Island. And uh, I come to find out after talking to Greg out in uh, Long Island, at uh, Long Island Mini Bike Madness, that it came from a guy, I think, in Hicksville or Westbury, out of Long Island. Now, I grew up in the town of Massapequa. And when I sold it, I sold it to a buddy of mine in Massapequa Park, which is just on the other side of the tracks, three, four miles from my house. I rode it to his house. He paid me 25 bucks for it. It had a five-horse Briggs on it, I think. It might even have been a three, but I think it was a five. Paid me 25 bucks for it, and his mom gave me a ride home. That was 1976. Saw the bike a little bit over that summer. I, at that time, already had a Z50. That's what I was riding around. Um, I got that for Christmas. So I got rid of the mini bike. So my friend Rob, who uh, I sold it to, at that point we were going from junior high to high school. And I think he went to the other high school in town. And I went to the, my high school. There were two high schools in my town. And you know we kind of lost touch, and that was it. So I never knew what happened to the bike. Life goes on, you get older, you graduate school, you move on, you get married, you raise a family, start a business, whatever the case may be, it's 44 years later. I end up buying it, 99% uh, sure that it's my bike. Once it gets here, I start looking at it. There's a bend on the engine plate where I, where I threw a chain and the chain wrapped through the hole and tweaked the plate. Uh, the original color on this thing was uh, uh, green when I got it, which was the same green, if you can see on the bottom of that bike. I painted it blue, then I didn't like it, then I spray painted it black. I scraped through the paint, all three colors are there. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Mm, the bent foot peg, ground on one side, tweaked on the other. I hit a stump riding in the, in the woods where I wasn't supposed to ride. Cops tried to bust me, and I took off to go to the other side of the woods because they weren't going to be able to go through the woods with their car. And I clipped a stump, and it took me down on the bike. And that popped the chain, too. I remember I put the chain on, got it started, cut through the woods, got out the other side, zigzagged through the whole neighborhood, wailed it, got it home, stuck it in the garage. That was growing up in the 70s riding mini bikes. It's what we all did. If you didn't, you didn't have enough fun at it. Um, so that's it. So that bike's going to get restored with a flathead on it. Now, I have a... Uh, Flathead sitting in the back, five horse. Um, I'm going to put a rod in it. I'm going to put a head on it. I'm going to put a, probably a 22 or 24 uh, mil Makuni on it. Kind of do a little hot rod flathead the way I would have dreamed about it at 14, 15 years old, you know, and, uh, and make that happen. So that I'm going to start on uh, pretty quick. The upside to this whole thing when I do the restoration on the Stellar is, and let me show you right now. What I got here, and I got these from Greg at Long Island Mini Bike Madness out of Long Island, out where I'm, I'm from originally, and it said a beautifully burnished Limpco wheels and brake assembly. This arm's still got to get uh, redone. I'm going to take it off. I'm actually going to have it chrome plated. Uh, original stamping still on it. The wheels are absolutely beautiful. Came in a whole, whole original set. He had everything I needed to make it real nice. So those wheels are going to go on this bike. Um, they would have been available on the Stellar when they were new. Um, the, the, the company or the foundry was out on Long Island. Matter of fact, it's stamped right here. It says Westbury, New York. The bikes were built in Plainview, New York. The two towns were basically side by side. Back in the day, that was a pretty good industrial area on Long Island. Uh, Westbury, Plainview. Uh, you had the area of Hop Hog starting to grow. And those were places on Long Island where there was a lot of uh, you know, small companies, factories, businesses, industrial parks, and stuff like that. So. Uh, Limco, which stood for uh, Long Island Molding. No, wait, hold on a second. I'm not, I don't want to screw this up. I can't see it because it's in a reflection. And what it stood for was Long Island Mold and Tool Company. And the little stamps right here. Check out the pic. Well, there you have it. There's some upcoming builds, a couple of cool projects, my original Stella from when I was a kid. I get really excited when I think about that. 
the uh, Rupp Continental. I think I called it a Schwinn Continental, the early part of this video. I may or may not have edited it out. I don't remember. Uh, Golden Pinto, Romanova, the uh, Arco, Alexander Reynolds. Another local bike from my area. They came out of New Jersey. The other stellar that I have, all original. And then, of course, my uh, GTS frame ZS190 shifter bike. Uh, that's my trail. That's my road and, and uh, what we call path bikes out here because we ride the, uh, the paths at night. Um, this Stellar over here, which you're looking at some pictures of right now, a buddy of mine down in North Carolina who I know from Lo Long Island, we used to work together and we hung out, and uh, he's been looking for one. So I may or may not sell it. Actually, let me rephrase that. I'll sell it to him. I'm not looking to sell it to anybody else. If he wants it, I told him I'll sell it to him. Problem is, is getting it to North Carolina. But me being in the car business, I ship a lot of stuff to New York all the time, and I got a regular transport guy that runs back and forth to uh, Long Island like every two weeks. So the idea I came up with was pop that thing on a truck, I can get it up to Long Island. Now it's on the East Coast. And my buddy who's down in North Carolina goes to Long Island often, and other friends go from Long Island down to him. So from there, it can get down to North Carolina. So he hasn't let me know yet. Joe, if you're watching, you want the Stellar, let me know, buddy. Uh, other than that, hey, everybody stay safe. You know, that shelter in place thing, do what you have to do. You know, let's get rid of this virus. I don't want to see anybody sick or hear any more stories about people getting sick. It's terrible what's going on as it is. Um, you know, just do what you got to do. Keep the social distancing thing in check. You know, be cognizant. Don't touch your face, you know, you know although I have. But, you know, it's right after I wash my own hands and not touch anything else. So um, we're out here in Arizona. Not as many cases in other, than other parts of the country. Plus, it's getting, starting to get hot out here. And supposedly the heat will help burn this thing out. We'll see, I guess. Uh, other than that, you know, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Hit the notification. Follow us on uh, Instagram and join the Facebook page, Muscle Mini Bikes Builds. And it's Muscle Mini Bike in, on Instagram. And uh, let's just have some fun, man. This is a great hobby. Hope everybody's enjoying it. And uh, have a great day. Enjoy yourself. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you soon.